Hello, today I will be disassembling and upgrading the Lenovo Y540 laptop. This particular model has a 9th generation Intel i7 processor, 8GB of RAM, a 250GB NVMe SSD, along with the NVIDIA RTX 2060 graphics card. Now for this particular model, the customer has requested that I upgrade the RAM as well as add a second hard drive for more storage space. And I will also show you how to upgrade the SSD should you choose to do so. Without further delay, let's get started. In order to open up this laptop, I am going to need two essential items. One is my small Phillips screwdriver and the plastic wedge. So first, make sure the laptop is obviously off. You don't want to have, you don't want to open up a laptop while it's still powered on or in sleep mode. And you can see here there are uh, there are a couple of screws, four on the top here, three in the middle, and four in the bottom. Now these screws are different sizes, so if you were to take them out, you have to keep track of which screw goes where, and if you put improper sized screws in the improperly sized holes, you can damage the laptop as well as void your manufacturer's warranty. Now, as I said before with my earlier video, opening up this laptop to upgrade it does not void the manufacturer's warranty, at least in Korea. If you're in any other country, I cannot give you that same guarantee, and that's my disclaimer. All right, so I'm taking, I'm taking out these screws in order, and I'm keeping track of where each screw goes, and yeah, let's keep going. middle row you can see it is thinner it looks maybe like four millimeters or five millimeters so as I said before keep track of which screw goes where now that's the middle one is longer just like the top row and I believe the bottom three are also the shorter ones as well Now all the screws are out. I have uh, kept track of which screw goes where. Let me just tilt the camera a little bit down. Perfect. All right, so all the screws in the bottom are removed. Now if you take a look here on the edges of the, of the edge of the laptop, you can actually see where a seam goes through and that's where we're gonna be making our opening. So be very careful opening it up. Now you can see this laptop has like um, the back end, the bottom back end does protrude. So we have to keep that in mind when we try to open it when we try to open up this laptop. Now let's get started. So I'm going to start with putting my edge in the lower corner and just gonna separate the seam. All right, we have that. And I would actually wanna put my, uh, get my wedge and actually pull slightly upwards, but you can see the seam on this, on the upper half of the laptop is slightly different because there is a cornered angle. So I'll get a wedge here and put it in this way. Okay. And just keep going along the edges. Very good. Now I'm at the back. Same thing. Put the wedge in the corner. And once you're in, just slide down. Oh. Yeah. Once you're in, slide down like that, and the whole thing should come apart. Very simple. It's actually a bit, um, I think it's a bit simpler than my last laptop disassembly video. All right, so now we're in. Okay, now we have opened up the laptop. Let's look at what's inside. So first, we see the M.2 SSD that uh, is standard in this particular model. We see the tray for the 2.5 inch hard drive, which we're going to be using. And we, um, and we have memory slots, which is underneath this metal plate. So in order to get this metal plate out, what I'm gonna use is my plastic wedge, get at the edge here, and just take it out, just like that. So there are clips that clip into the, um, the edges here. So you can see there are two memory slots, and this particular model has a single 8 gig stick, which I'm gonna, and we're gonna be taking this out, and we're gonna be putting in two 16 gig sticks in and we're going to be putting in a one terabyte hard drive here. The first thing that we want to do before we perform any upgrades on this laptop is to disconnect the battery. We see the battery here and the battery is connected to the motherboard by this connector here. In order to unplug the battery, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to grab with my uh, tweezers the black connector for the battery on each side and just And the battery is disconnected. Okay, so first I'm gonna do is the easiest part. I'm gonna take this RAM stick out. 
8 gig sticks out and we'll be putting in my 2 16 gigs memory sticks in so this goes in and second one goes in as well and I'm gonna be putting this metal plate back on or I am going to forget so the memory upgrade has been completed now as the hard for the hard drive just like in my previous video I have a brand new sealed one terabyte hard drive from Seagate and what we also will need is the separate hard drive cable now in South Korea where this video has been recorded every time you buy this laptop this hard drive cable will come in the box now if you're from a different country and you didn't receive this cable I would suggest you contact your nearest Lenovo service center and see if they can mail one to you okay just like before I'm gonna open up the hard drive and in Korea I am going to peel the sticker off and place it on the hard drive in order to give it its two-year manufacturer's warranty so it goes in here obviously it fits on the hard drive but we're gonna have to take this tray out and you have to screw the, the, the bracket into the hard drive before and I'm gonna be opening up this package here so this hard drive the hard drive cable also comes with screws on this I'm connected first and just to a, to a testing so you can see this cable plugs into this motherboard with, with this connector and if you never worked with the laptop before you want to be very careful because the connector is very delicate I've had customers that rip connectors out of their laptops because they, they weren't used to how fragile it was now you can see the four screws here that comes with the pack the hard drive cable package and we'll be using these four screws to um, connect the bracket to the hard drive okay so first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually remove the bracket by its four screws here pretty self-explanatory okay now the bracket is free I'm gonna put the hard drive in the bracket in the way that I did during the during my fitting just like that and I'm gonna use the four screws that came with my hard drive cable in order to secure the hard drive onto the bracket okay very nice okay now the hard drive is secured to the bracket now I'm gonna set this combined piece back down and I'm gonna connect the cable to the connector okay so you see this connector lift up the black part up like that and connect the cable inside make sure it goes all the way in and then you have to press the black connector back down like that and now it's secure and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be screwing down the bracket hard drive back to the laptop with the screws it came with Perfect. All right. And if you also want to upgrade the SSD, it's very simple. Take the screw out that's securing the SSD, take it out, and you could put in a brand new M.2 SSD. Just keep in mind, if you want to upgrade the SSD on this laptop, you have to have an NVMe M.2 SSD. Okay. Now, before we close this up, don't forget to reconnect our battery cable. Perfect. I'm gonna put the back cover on right now. And you should see, you should, you should hear it clicking every few inches. Now, before I put the screws in, I would want to go to the BIOS to make sure the laptop recognizes the upgraded RAM as well as the added hard drive. Now, compared to other laptops where you can use one of the function keys to go into the BIOS, modern day Lenovo laptops are designed a little bit differently. On the side of this laptop, you're gonna see a little hole here with this icon let's see if you can look all right now this used to be called the novo key i don't know what it's called right now maybe it's still called that and in order to press the button in uh, we'll press the pin inside this hole what i'm going to use is a bent paper clip so if i just press it oh, let me just make sure the laptop is open like that all right and i'm going to press this key once and you can see it lights up that means i recognize it and the laptop does turn on like compared to a normal boot sequence 
it's gonna give you a menu asking you if you want to go to the boot menu or the bio so let's wait for that to come up all right and as you can see you see the normal startup which is the first option followed by bio setup as well as the boot menu so i'm gonna actually go to the bio setup here and very good so we have the you know, cpu didn't change obviously we have the system memory and it shows the 32 gigabytes of ram that we upgraded and we see the hard drive the seagate one terabyte barracuda hard drive that we put in and it also detects the, the ssd that it came in so that's all and then from here you turn it off so from here all i'm gonna have to do is to put the screws in in the same order i took them out and i have to make sure that i put the right screws in the right holes and then we are done well thank you for watching and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you.